Hello, I'm Catherine and you found the Catherine Corner. In this video, we're going to talk about mice, which is the Massachusetts Independent Comic Expo, all about arts and stories and whatever, all in cute little comic book form. It is a place for independent artists to showcase their work and sell it, and it's pretty cheap actually. Prices range from $1 to $20, which is pretty darn good. Um, when I first walked into the exhibition hall, they gave me a cute little sticker with a mouse on it, look how adorable that is, and this little uh, map slash, you know, list of workshops and all the different exhibitors if I wanted to find them later. Um, all this information is available on uh, mikeexpo.org or Mice Expo, I don't know, the E is kind of in the Mice and the Expo, and here is all their information. They gave us a little rewards card. I didn't actually buy any comics because I wasn't there to buy, I was there to do other things. I, um, I took a lot of really cool business cards, uh, tons of cute freebies like uh, temporary tattoos and stickers and like bookmarks, uh, which happen to also be business cards, which is super cool. I got these really cute stickers, my name is, and my demon tells me. I think that's, that's clever, you know? And all of these are, um, you know, a specific artist's idea, and uh, they have really cool, like, one person, this person specifically, they did um, animation along with their comics, so they had an iPad sitting there where their comics were coming to life through animation, and it was super cool. I was so impressed because I usually when you see comics, it's just the written. Um, you see something like this, and you want to open it and page through it. But for uh, the little animated shorts, it was just so gorgeous because all the styles are so different. I swear, it's that's the future of comics. I think you know. Another really cool thing about going to this expo was, let's see, I I didn't expect this, but I, I found this um, printed like paper company where uh, you can get 500 business cards free if you use this specific code at checkout, which is pretty amazing. Um, they had another special offer from the attendees at this. Uh, another promo code. So if you want to get really nice business cards printed on fancy paper, like they had so many options and sizes, and it was so it was great. Uh, those promo codes are super useful. Um, I wanted to go to the workshops, and there there were two that I actually wanted to go to, but I couldn't find where the workshop halls were, and it was specifically inking. So. It, the first one I missed, but the second one I was able to make because I found out where the halls were and I was able to ink a little octopus. Super cute. Looks like a very feminine octopus with the eye. Yeah, I was very surprised at how easy it was. Uh, I, I mean, they had all these tools available, so they weren't just using like liners or brush pens, they were using nib pens and all these other tools, like something really cool was they, someone put um, ink in a watercolor brush pen where usually you have water in the brush, like for travel purposes, but these people put ink inside instead. And I thought, oh gosh, that's so cute. You don't have to carry an ink well around with you. And it was fun. And then I learned all about these different types of inks and what their purposes were, because um, there's a certain part of my octopus that's a lot lighter. So this part is lighter and this part is darker because they're different types of ink. and. I was kind of confused and I asked the one of the demoists, like, what's going on, tell me, and they told me uh, the difference is in ink and how you have to look up ink. It's cute. There were tons of people, tons of cool, I want to say, just looking at the um, exhibitors, there were like at least a hundred or something.
I, you know, something else that was really cool is I found out about this cute little independent um, comic bookstore in Cambridge, and I thought, I have not heard of this one, because some of the big ones, like, I think Kamikaze, or like, um, like in Cambridge specifically, there's some other ones, but Million Year Picnic, I had not heard of before, so that's fun. Something else that I thought was super cool is was um, all of these like schools, comic school programs where you can go to school and major in creative writing slash comics and stuff. And they had all these cute little. Um, it looked like a comic. I actually I, I was confused. I didn't know if this was a comic, but it was actually uh, promotional material for one of the schools. Um, let's see. This one specifically is the um, Solstice Low Residency MFA program, and it's a, you have to email someone named Little Beth at pmc.edu. Um, yeah, and you go for ten days outside the city, and then you work remotely, and I guess you do that for two years, and you get a master's degree in comic drawing. The Center of, for Cartoon Studies, down here in Vermont, and this is their website down here, I guess. Um, it was cute, applied cartooning. They had little mice, and there was the Elliott School, classes, fine arts, cute things like that. So they have their course catalog of available cute classes. And for the Center of Cartoon Studies in Vermont, there was even an application fee waiver if you use this code. And I think that's really nice. That's a really good resource for people who are interested in seeing if this is a possibility for me. And then, let's see. There was one comic. This was just a free comic. I guess what happened is the artist had put these in a bigger book and they had all these lying around and they were just like trying to get rid of them <laughs> but it's cute there are lots of freebies and things to do at this convention um or exhibition expo i'm happy that i went it, i went to the workshop i got information about future classes i probably wouldn't do a master's program unless i didn't have to work suddenly if i suddenly got a lot of money then i would be okay with that but yeah, so far. I don't know if that's going to happen in the near future, but I would love to do a master's program in art and stuff. Especially to develop my ability, which I'm already pretty proud of this in terms of a black and white drawing of an octopus. I think that's pretty good. Ooh, another really cute... This is a really cool business card that I found. It is so adorable. It's so tiny, and he even was handing out little stickers and stuff. So cute. Yeah, that was nice. Massachusetts Independent Comic Expo. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, like it, subscribe if you want more, and follow me on Instagram.